All right, we're back again for another Black History Moment today. I am here with a magnificent student, uh, Jalen Barrow. Jalen, how are you today? I'm doing good today. How are you doing today, sir? I'm wonderful. Tell us who we are studying today. We studying uh, William Henry Hasty. He was the American warrior. He judged the civil rights in the mid 1900s. He was born in Knoxville, Tennessee. Um, he attended Harvard, so he was pretty intelligent. Um, and he was a server as a governor. Absolutely. Federal judge and appeal judge. Absolutely. So he went to Harvard. Uh, he was a lawyer. He was a governor. He did a lot of things, as Jalen has already told us. Let's take a look at the video, learn a little bit more about him, and celebrate another day of Black History Month. Couches take a trap, but they ain't got nothing on them. Many people are familiar with Thurgood Marshall, the first African American to serve on the U.S. Supreme Court. But not everyone remembers William Hasty, the first African American federal judge. In 1937, President Roosevelt appointed William Hasty to the federal judgeship in the U.S. Virgin Islands. It was a controversial appointment, and some leaders in Congress considered it a political blunder. President Truman appointed Hasty to the U.S. Court of Appeals in 1949. And in 1962, President Kennedy considered appointing Hasty to the Supreme Court. But he faced opposition from Southern senators who were against the appointment of an African American and from liberal senators who believed Hasty was too conservative. Five years later, under President Johnson, Thurgood Marshall became the first African American Supreme Court Justice, and William Hasty became part of our faded history. Oh, Couches take a trap, but they ain't got nothing on. 